Good evening everyone, time for another Bitcoin report. You're looking at live market data feeds from Trade Hill. Mt. Gox is still down. They're still proceeding with the rollback that they promised and I don't really have any reason to think that they won't succeed. I really honestly think that they probably will succeed if you remember on my last video I found my account around 42,000 which was re registered about a week before that and the list went up to about 60,000 so 20,000 people had signed up after I did in about a week so Mt. Gox was really on the point of exploding that was very interesting and you can see here on Trade Hill we're bid at 14.03, 14.97 ask. Pretty widespread, but the Bitcoin market is really thin, so it's not surprising to me. Mt. Gox tended to have tighter, tighter bid ask, and and as I think it's ultimately going to be a healthy thing because as competition pours into this market, especially with Gox being down it's going to give the opportunity for others to come in. It's a very difficult thing if you look at, for example, the domination of eBay over that market or the domination of Amazon over their market or the domination of Craigslist over their market. There's a lot of markets that can be dominated because everybody wants to go where the most volume is. So in my opinion it's going to be healthy uh, I'm probably going to do another update as soon as Mt. Gox comes back up that's been promised to be sometime today Japanese time so we're going to wait and see when that happens and we'll update you at that time I wanted to jump back and give more of a historical perspective of things at least from my opinion that's just my opinion so you can take it for what it's worth I want to start with a quote from Victor Hugo and it's very difficult to find the complete quote but that's Victor Hugo and this is the quote that he he gave he said all the forces in the world are not so powerful as an idea whose time has come an invasion of armies can be resisted but not an idea whose time has come greater than the tread of mighty armies is an idea whose time has come nothing else in the world not all the armies is so powerful as an idea whose time has come one can resist the invasion of an army but one cannot resist the invasion of ideas there is one thing stronger than all the armies in the world and that is an idea whose time has come now that's the words of a genius that's the words of a man who had deep insight into the history of man's advancement now I wanted to segue into three people that I think have had well three people that I think will have amazing impact on the history of the world going forward and I'm going to start with Johannes Gutenberg for those of you who don't know, Johannes Gutenberg was the inventor of the modern printing press. I'll read a little bit of it. Gutenberg was a German goldsmith, printer, and publisher who introduced a modern introduced modern book printing. His invention of mechanical movable type printing started the printing revolution and is widely regarded as the most important event in the modern period. It played a key role in the development of the Renaissance, the Reformation, and the Scientific Revolution. So they're not saying it, but what it tells you is that this invention took man out of the Dark Ages and laid the material basis for the modern knowledge-based economy and the spread of learning to the masses. Gutenberg was the first European to use movable type printing in around 1439 and the global inventor of the printing press. Among his many contributions to printing are the invention of a process for mass producing movable type, 
the use of oil-based ink and the use of wooden printing press similar to the agricultural screw presses of the period. His truly epical invention was the combination of these elements into a practical system which allowed the mass production of printed books and was economically viable for printers and readers alike. Gutenberg's method for making type is traditionally considered to have included a metal type alloy, etc. And it goes on. So I'm going to put the link. You can read about Johannes Gutenberg. Brilliant man, changed the course of history. I'm going to jump to another man, Phil Zimmerman. He's the inventor of pretty good privacy, and I'll read to you a little bit about Zimmerman. Philip Zimmerman is the creator of Pretty Good Privacy, the most widely used email encryption software in the world. He's also known for his work over VoIP, uh, for VoIP encryption protocols. He was born in Camden, New Jersey. In 1991, he wrote a popular, he wrote the popular Pretty Good Privacy program and made it available together with its source code through public FTP for download the first widely available program implementing public key cryptography. Shortly thereafter it became available overseas via the internet probably through some government agents who sent it over the internet though Zimmerman has said he had no part in its distribution. After a report from RSA Data Security Inc. who were in a licensing dispute with regard to the use of RSA al algorithm in PGP the Customs Service started a criminal investigation of Zimmerman for allegedly violating the Arms Export Control Act. The U.S. government had long regarded cryptographic software as a munition and thus subjects to arms trafficking export controls. All that time, the boundary between permitted low-strength cryptography and impermissible high-strength cryptography placed PGP well on the too strong export side. This boundary has since been relaxed. The investigation lasted three years but was finally dropped without filing charges. After the government dropped its case, and you can go ahead and read on. So, there's another idea whose time had come. Let's go to the last idea whose time has come and the man behind it. Satoshi Nakamoto. Satoshi Nakamoto is the creator of an open source project called Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital currency. Satoshi first published a white paper on Bitcoin in 2008 and then in 2009 founded an open source project called Bitcoin. The real identity of Satoshi Nakamoto is unknown. So, and I'll put all these links here, but what I'm implying and what I, this is what I actually believe that you are looking at another historical instance of what Victor Hugo was talking about. Bitcoin is an idea whose time has come, and I don't think they can stop it. Now, if you look at the last week, and my channel's only been active for a week, but I've been watching this very carefully, you've had a tremendous rally in the Bitcoin to $32, a crash, and then media coverage. Always the coverage after the crash, not beforehand. Next, you had a... heist of bitcoins by a user named All in Vain who said he lost 25,000 bitcoins and it was all in vain except he registered his name back in October of last year and it was all in vain that he lost all his coins this last couple weeks so you've got eBay outright banning the trading in bitcoins You've got Godlike Productions banning the word Bitcoin. And you've got the flash crash on Mt. Gox. 
and who was behind that I don't know you tell me so this is my opinion it's my opinion only you can have your own opinion and you can disagree and rant and rave all you want but it's my opinion that the Bitcoin is an idea whose time has come and if I'm right all the armies in the world against it can't stop it and we'll talk to you next time